name is James Riza. I'm the Expedia Las Vegas Insider, and we are driving down the Las Vegas Strip headed toward downtown Las Vegas. I have spent my entire life from the moment I was born learning, living, and loving Las Vegas. If you find yourself uh, in downtown Las Vegas during the day, you need to check out the downtown arts district. Have yourself breakfast or lunch at the Bar Bistro and the Arts Factory. Check out the Trifacta Gallery and all the other galleries there. Make your way over to the Electric Lemonade, which is this really awesome vintage shop just about a block's walk away. And uh, then stop in at the Brett Wesley Gallery, which has some really great high-end art. Uh, beautiful gallery in downtown. A lot of things that you're not going to find right down the strip, you'll, you will find in downtown. Just west of downtown Las Vegas is the Springs Preserve. It's a 180 acre complex of museums and outdoor hiking trails, cafe. Once a week they have a farmer's market. It's the history of Vegas, the natural history of Vegas, you've got to see it. If you're looking for entertainment that's not Cirque du Soleil, check out the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. Just opened in March. Three different stages, traveling Broadway shows, great entertainment, lots of stuff to see. A lot of tourists that come to Vegas end up on a helicopter or a bus ride to the Grand Canyon. But an alternative to that is taking a rental car and just driving two hours north to Zion National Park. It is absolutely stunning. Beautiful vistas, has the Virgin River running right down the center of it. Highly recommend driving 30 minutes west of town to get to Red Rock Canyon, which is a national conservation area. Beautiful, striking uh, red sandstone cliff formations, one of the top climbing destinations in the United States. Just north of downtown Las Vegas is the Neon Museum. They've got a great boneyard where the old signs from the 50s and 60s and 70s Las Vegas reside waiting for restoration. Check it out. An absolute hidden gem is the Pinball Hall of Fame. Crazy guy, collects and restores pinball machines. He's got hundreds of them. You can walk in, put your quarters in, step back in time, it all goes to charity. In the last five years or so, Las Vegas has really become a top dining destination. Plenty of five-star places to eat in Las Vegas, but I recommend you get off the strip and go to Raku. Small little Japanese grill, great food, all the chefs eat there, make it a stop. Once the sun goes down in downtown Las Vegas, you need to make your way past uh, Las Vegas Boulevard East and you need to go to the Fremont East Entertainment District, check out the Griffin, downtown cocktail room, the beauty bar, there's a bunch of little bars down there, you're going to have a great time.